In today's tutorial, I will be taking you on some special tips on logo design. So, we will be taking a look at the designing of a certain logo. We will be using uh, an MPC logo today. So, our design will focus on uh, some special uh, tips in making an MPC logo. So, let's see how we can achieve that on today's class. If you are ready, please set up your systems and let's go. So, we will start by getting ellipse tool. Try to make it a perfect circle by holding down your control. Hold down your control key, click and drag to draw a perfect circle. Without holding your control key, this is what you get when you click and drag. Okay, but holding down your control key allows you to get a perfect shape no matter how you drag it. Despite the direction, you will still be having a very perfect circle. And then also make sure that you are centering the circle at the center of the printable layout by pressing your P key on your keyboard. Remember, we used to say that in our previous classes. Whenever you wish to center something at the middle of your printable layout, always press your P on the keyboard. Okay, so we move over to getting a rectangle. There is one of the videos in our previous classes that had something similar like this when we did how to rotate and duplicate object. So today we seem to be deploying the same kind of skill tips down here too in creating this NMPC logo. Alright, let's continue. Also press your P to center the rectangle too at the middle of the printable layout and the already drawn circle. Then the next thing we do right now is to rotate and duplicate this rectangle. We did exactly something like this in our previous class. Please try to go over to our previous videos and try those exercises there. So let's move over to arrange transformations your rotate this is the rotation docker put my angle of rotation here 18 number of copies i can put it one then apply to duplicate until you get the number of copies required you know this is what you have I can close my transformation docker. The next thing I do from here, let me get a copy of this thing aside for reference purposes. So the next thing to do from here is to select all the shapes down here and then weld it. Remember we also have talked about the welding tool which you can get from your arrange shaping we've talked about these shaping tools the well the trim the intersection so we seem to be making use of them again here on this particular exercise so select the circles all the shapes here plus the rectangle and then weld it that's beautiful You can give it a color. I can get another circle. A very perfect one too. Position it too at the center. If you reduce it or you wish to reduce it, you can hold down your shift key and then click from any of the selection dot at the edge it will reduce it perfectly well at the center of the object 
okay i can give this one a color i can also increase the outline width maybe 10 i can also change the outline color of the inner circle to red this is nice so from here we'll be getting uh, our text this is an Nigerian company so Okay. So the next thing we do from here, we can get another right top. We can bold it. I can give them both font sizes 30 if I wish to increase it again I'm selecting both text so there will be equal sizes all right so the next step here is what we call fitting text to part having done this we need to fit this text to this part we have two texts here we'll be fitting an upper part and then we'll be fitting the bottom part text fitting text to part is another tool a command that allows you to make a text to take the shape of a part so you can draw any part and probably make your text to take the shape of that part okay uh, i will be introducing you to that by simply getting a straight line and then curve it we did all this in our previous video too so please to get used to how to curve straight lines to curve please refer to our previous videos i'm only using it to you know introduce us to the fitting text apart so this is how it goes i can select both object this is a text this is a part so you select both the text and the part you can go to your text menu and then you see your fit text to part this is what happened the text will take the shape of the part you can use this your option tools here to actually adjust the text this one here is called so with the help of this particular one called your offset you can actually use it to you know move the text along the path to position it properly as you desire once you're done you always go to your arrange and break the text apart without doing that you can't separate the text and the part easily so you have to go to your arrange make sure both are selected go to your arrange break the text apart in that case you can click outside and drag them individually you know you cannot separate them so i'll be using the similar technique on this particular one this is what we want to do so we'll be fitting this nigerian national petroleum on this inner part here the inner circle so all we need to do is to select the circle and the part and the text rather you can also select the text before selecting the part it doesn't matter you can select the part before selecting the text okay we're not using this highlighting because we will be including this outer one which will give us a very wrong result so We'll be using our shift key to select 
the text holding your shift key you select the path so these are the two objects to be selected here then you move over to your text menu fit text to path this is beautiful so you can use your distance from path you know to shift it up and down separate the text a bit from the part so it doesn't clinch to it once you're done you can go to your read menu and break them apart so the text is separate the part is separate come down to the corporation i can as well do the same thing or rather i can use the second method for it instead of selecting the text and the part I can just select only the part go to my text menu fit text to part see the down use this arrow button to move towards the part you wish to fit it will automatically claim to it that's how it works you can move it aside a bit okay but many looking at it you will understand it's not properly fitted okay this is a kind of upside down and anti-clockwise at the same time so we'll be making use of this our mirror text vertically and mirror text horizontally both of them will correct this problem so we can start from anyone mirror vertically text vertically what what happen okay it has turned but the same anti-clockwise so i'll use this other one mirror text horizontally exactly this is what i want i can drag this middle dot of the text position it down a bit you know how i want it to be if you're using lower version of CorelDRAW dragging from the text directly here may not really work so you have to make use of this your distance from part and your offset to properly position the text as you want it to be having done that too i'm say going to select the text again to make sure that both the part and the text is selected on one click then go to arrange break the text apart before you do that if you happen to click just the text twice the selection dot is now focusing on just this text alone going to your arrange menu it won't be possible for you to separate them okay it won't be active so before you do that click outside make sure you're selecting the text in a way that both the part it is fitted to will be selected that means both of them are selected in that case then you can now go down to your arrange and separate them in this case you've officially separated the text from the part permit me to take off this one we don't need it okay we can as well just keep it aside maybe i can simply delete anyone okay let's leave it you know for reference purposes all right so here we are the next we'll be, we'll be taking a look at is drawing a mask kind of you know shape at the middle so i'll do that by using my freehand tool click once double click one Two, double click one two start going up one two so you double click at every point make sure you don't go beyond the line of this shape your drawing okay you start coming down okay this should be very easy to do 
when you get to your start point you click once to join the line once you don't double click you click just once to join the line i can get another rectangular shape at the top maybe give it you know a color I can increase the outline of this shape. Alright. Okay. Then get a small circle here. You know, place it somewhere here and give it a color. I can as well increase the outline a bit. Group all together, select all of them and group. This is your grouping or you use your control G to achieve that. I can reduce it a bit and then put keep it place it down here. I might wish to duplicate it and get a smaller copy by the side. this is beautiful if you just did this it actually means you are actually doing great you know please make sure you follow the steps you watch the video if possible as much as you can so group this object together This is just perfect. So, if you've been seeing this logo and you've been wondering how it was done, permit me to end your curiosity today. All right, this is beautiful. So, if you are enjoying this video, please support us kindly. Click on your subscription button. Please watch the subscribe button below the screen. Click on it and also click on your notification button to enable you get more information on the new videos to be uploaded. Thank you so much. 